Hello guys, John here from Patrol Base once again to have a quick chat with you about the Turnergy Power Systems Accucel 6 charger. When you get the charger you get it with a power supply and you also get it with a set of leads. Now first thing that we need to do is plug it into your 12 volt supply. Now this of course could be a vehicle or it could be a mains power. Now when you switch it on it should come up with program select. Very simple system you have four buttons on the charger and on the left hand side it says type. This here button on the left will help you choose which kind of battery you've got. The choices are PB which means plum bum or lead acid batteries for those of you out there that know that one. You've also got the save data and load data I'm not going to cover those today and you've got LiPo which is your uh, lithium polymer batteries, your nickel metal hydride batteries which is probably the one I would suggest most of you will use and of course the NICAD batteries. So what we're going to do very simply we're going to get a nickel metal hydride battery by scrolling through to NIMH and we're going to plug this in. So we're going to get the leads we're going to plug them into the appropriate socket. Red is positive and black is negative like most other airsoft things. So we're going to get yourself a battery. We're going to use this particular battery here, um, this 8.4 volt battery. And you'll notice that on the ends of the charging leads you have a selection so that you'll be able to choose the correct kind of connector. So this is a Tamiya one, so we're going to plug that in. Once you've plugged it in, we go to start when you press it, it gives you an option to charge on current. Now there's many, many people out there that will talk about the various currents that you can charge batteries at safely. If we are rapidly charging a battery here in the workshop, we would normally use on this particular kind of battery, it's quite a small battery, we might decide to charge that at one amp. So I'll just go back, anytime you need to go back if you press the stop button, so click on it'll go 1.5, it'll start to flash. I'm going to knock that down to 1 amp and I'm going to press and hold the button in. It'll check the battery and the system will begin to automatically charge the battery. Now that means that you don't have to program it with the amount of amp hours, so the size of the battery, it will do it all automatic for you. It will continue that cycle until it finishes. Okay. Okay guys, we've just charged up a nickel metal hydride battery. We're now going to go and use a LiPo battery. We're going to charge up this particular one. This is an 11.1 .1 LiPo. Now, on the system, very simple. Go through again to LiPo. Press your select. It's then going to take you into a separate menu. Now, the charging menu, we would always recommend using the middle two keys to go left and right, that you want to be a balanced charge. So. Go on to this particular balance charge. Now, in this case, you need to choose um, the particular kind of battery. So press the start button. That will show you the one amp charge, which is okay for this one. Press it again. We need to change that to 11.1 volts, which is what we've got here. Happy. Once you've got that, we plug the battery in, the same as the nickel metal hydride battery. However, because it's a LiPo battery, we're gonna use the side port of the charger, if you look to the right, you'll see here, this battery's got a four pin, the four pin one's in the center there. So we're gonna plug that in there, pop that in, that will be the extra wires for the balanced charge. When that's like that, we're gonna press, we're gonna hold, it's gonna check the battery, and it's then gonna start charging it if we need, if we're happy to continue. So I'm gonna say enter, we're gonna confirm it's going to start charging. Now, for the purposes of what we're doing today, I haven't put this in a safe place or in a LiPo bag just before you start making those comments. So there you go, that's a LiPo battery. Okay, if you want to stop a battery part the way through, you can just disconnect the battery and if you do that, the system will automatically recognise that and it'll tell you there's a connection break. Now that can sometimes happen if your connectors are not good enough. However, I'll just plug this bit back in, reset it back onto charge. As you can see, it's very easy. So whilst it's charged, if you want to prematurely stop the battery charging, ideally, press the stop button and it'll stop the system from charging. Then you can unplug it and away you go. Don't forget to disconnect 
and turn your charger off when you're finished.